There's just so much. It's just, there is far too much 90s going on right now. I don't know what I don't know what to look at first. Howard, bald Howard Stern wearing what seems to be a one piece. Um, the black midget in the Hawaiian skirt. We're all like the granny panty bikinis with all the ladies Corey are wearing. Feldman in hammer pants. <laughs> and like shoulder pad blazers. What up with the youth? What's up with the youth? Is that a man in a diaper? <laughs> who are those guys who play those games? I just can't. I, <laughs> I can't anymore. I've, anything. I've melted Brian's brain with uh, Corey Feldman's production of What's <laughs> Up With The Youth? And say, What's Up With The Youth? Everybody, and that's it. Everybody, what's up with the youth? youth. It's just, oh, God. No, we're not. It's so bad. We're no, not. We're not. We're the other gaming guys. We're not. Go um, look up. I'm not going to put an annotation just because I don't want to. <laughs> but, audience, please, you have to look up Corey Feldman, 1992. I was just, I'm going to just, you know, Parker's going to play, and I'm just going to say keywords of things that come <laughs> to my head now as I think of it. Uh, black midget in a Hawaiian skirt. Uh, man in a diaper. <laughs> just a diaper. Lots of bikinis. A granny panty bikinis. Yeah, Howard Stern wearing a one-piece uh, women's uh, swimsuit and a bald cap. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Feldman wearing oversized shoulder pads. And hammer pants. And hammer pants doing a Michael Jackson dance when he is clearly not Michael Jackson. <laughs> There's just there is just so much, and then a repeated chorus that is just so bland and so the same thing. I just <laughs> his dancing, his dancing, Corey Feldman's dancing is intense. I wonder, I, I wondered if it was a Halloween episode or if it was something special. Well, There's so, so much '90s in that. Me. Can we talk about that man again? I just... Okay, um, we have oh, Ivy. On, Notice how Ivy. Still is wearing a prison garb. And how come, like... They were just flowers, I like this. Oh, I forgot to water your plants. Now I get to kill you. Yep. And why would you ever trust Catwoman to water your plants? Uh, cats have nine lives. Oh, and okay. You live nine times. To... Uh -oh. Cats eat plants. But... That's gross. That's where poop comes from. Dude, is that, like, a beard the guy's wearing? Or a stocking cap? Or is it just mold that's grown on his face? Yes. Hey, Pam, I had a nightmare about idea. the uh, zombies from... How about the dating route? What's it called? Um, oh, that one game. Last of Us. Would you date a supervillain chick? Like, if she was really hot? Yes. Would you? Like, huh? Are you kidding? Um... I don't know, but like, okay, let me break it down for you before you make. I mean, I know <laughs> break it down made, for me, fellas. Oh, wicked, wicked, wicked! I know you've made your answer already, and that answer is you. A resounding yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but okay, super villain chicks. Yeah, they're hot. Mm -hmm. But they have so many emotional crazy issues. That's true. Uh, and you would probably almost get killed quite frequently. They're not very fake. Like, how many times can you imagine you, like, it, say you're dating Poison Ivy. She comes home and, like, oh, I've had a really rough day. Oh, what happened? Well, I was making out with Batman, and then... And you're like, wait, you're making wait, out with Why Batman? Oh, no, it's my powers, it's... my poison lips, so I had to. And you're like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. And then, what'd you bring home to eat? And he's like, oh, it's a hamburger, but without bread. Because... <laughs> I'm a meatitarian because I care about plants. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that would be okay. That would be the, probably the best part. You're not... See, because <laughs> like, never... you haven't put up a very good argument so far because <laughs> A, I get to kiss Batman by proxy, and <laughs> yeah. B, I get more steak. That's all. Okay. <laughs> but what if you forget to water her plants and she tries oh, right. to kill you? She's consistent. Okay. Or, like... Uh, you wonder, like, how many things have you done mean to plants? Like, have you ever walked on grass before? 
Um, I noticed there's grass stains on your pants. Where, what are those from? Oh, that's uh, it was plants. It's blood. <laughs> it's it's blood. I fought aliens. But you're not a superhero. No, you're right. Who? Okay, in your opinion, all supervillains, all supervillain oh, girls geez. or men, if you're into that, who would you date? If you were to date a supervillain chick, Catwoman. Would you? Catwoman's the go-to answer right now because I mean. Look, I just need your but I need a minute to think about this now. <laughs> like, yeah, well, no, and that's what I think you should think about it. Like, I think Poison Ivy's hotter. But she's, like, all planty. She probably tastes like chloroform. Or not. <laughs> you just, that would suck. You start making out, and then you pass out because of chloroform. It's like, pro like, chlorine or, like, whatever. What's that stuff in plants, the green stuff that makes it Chlorophyll. Open? Chlorophyll. It's not... <laughs> Chloroform, you know? She probably tastes like milkweed. Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not. We could all agree not Harley Quinn. Look at it, sweetie. Why don't you no, shut what's up, what's Harley? Idea? Why spoil the fun? It was all a lie. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> um, he's the Joker. There's plenty <laughs> wrong with him, Batman. Oh, uh, uh, that's the line, speaking of which. Oh. <laughs> Take my blood, for example. Hey, Joker, oh, I've got some acne cream for you. Maybe you want to use it. <laughs> you should wash your face after using the makeup. So I think Joker is going to be in Arkham Origins. But it's not Mark Hamill, because this is the last Mark Hamill ever did Joker. It's going to be a younger Joker. Yeah, it's going to be a younger Joker. But this is the last time Mark... Look at all those air bubbles. Did you see all those air bubbles in his blood transfusion? Yeah. Bam. So close, and then it was taken from um, yeah, so Joker. Mark Hamill's done doing Joker that. after this game. Yeah, I'm sad. That, that makes me sad. Yeah. It's actually pretty insane. entertaining. This is good. Joker, you Mark Hamill's... About? What you talking about? Oh, I, I want a, I want a toy boat and a new pony. and Because <laughs> he's Santa Batman. Yep. See our earlier episodes if you don't get that. <laughs> Expected more. Trophy called ten. Never. Never you know this movie all too I've well. I've played this game through, I think, four times. <laughs> He's so cool. He is pretty rad. But I've pl I've played this game through twice, and then a third time on hard. No, a third time on plus mode. Which. So this is the fourth time. Through. I'm surprised he's not talking through that, and like you could yeah. see Joker oh, yeah. that on that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Missed opportunity, Nintendo. You learn something every day. Uh, no, but um, plus mode. The hardest part, because plus mode is like you get to keep all your gadgets and upgrades, but it's harder than hard mode. Yeah. And the hardest part of plus mode, by far, is when you break into the museum with all of the penguins guys, and you have to fight all those guys at once. Um. That's the hardest part of the game. So, Alfred, just more proof. Like after Joe did that whole thing, that was really rad. Mm -hmm. Mr. Freeze has the only cure. Uh, you get it. What are you waiting cure. for then? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? Um, DC is better at creating villains than Marvel, but Marvel's better at creating heroes. Yeah, like it's their focus really. Like Batman really isn't that interesting of a hero. He's kind of one-dimensional. Like, yeah, his parents are dead, but, like, he's kind of one-dimensional as a hero. As they you can always, always trust Batman and Superman and Green Lantern, well, except for that one time, and The Flash to do the right thing. Yeah, they're kind of, they're kind of boring in that way, and they try to retell stories, but you can't retell who the oh. character is, ultimately. Yeah. Um, but, Marvel heroes are usually multi-dimension, but their villains are just, I'm a bad guy, I'm gonna do bad things. Oh, Whereas DC wow. villains are very deep and like, I'm doing bad things for these reasons, and so, hero, take pity on me. Like, it, Marvel has good, like, name your favorite Marvel villain. Um, I know, like, <laughs> I mean, Omega Red is your favorite X-Men villain, but like, let's look at Avengers. Loki's pretty rad. But before yeah, but Avengers came out, did you even really care about Loki? Or Thor came out? I knew he had a weird hat. Yeah. Like... Um... 
But like, yeah, Marvel, look at the first Iron Man movie, or the second Iron Man movie, or even the third Iron Man movie, all great movies. But, they're all two. Okay, okay, two, yeah, not so well. But, did you have Jeff Bridges with an Ironmonger? <laughs> yeah. I did not realize that until yesterday. <laughs> he just looks so different. Yeah. He kind of looks like you. I can't really pinpoint <laughs> what it is. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> no, but like, my buddy was like, he's a huge Jeff Bridges friend, and he's like, oh yeah, by the way, Jeff Bridges was Ironmonger, and I was like, yeah, he was. He was. He was. <laughs> but <laughs> dead bodies. But uh, yeah, like all the Iron Man villains are really not that interesting. Like they're oh, well, I'm another, Iron Man villains were definitely not interesting. I'm just another dude in a metal suit. I'm yeah. a dude in a metal suit. The third one, they finally oh, said, but. let's not make a dude in a metal suit. But even then, like Mandarin was rad. Yes. But. That being said, would you? I, I can't really see them ever bringing him back for another movie. Yeah, they can't. But Besides, Batman villains, they constantly are like, I want to see this villain. I want to see this villain. Mm -hmm. How many like Marvel movies are you like, oh, I can't wait. To, I hope they use this guy. That was how I was with Venom, actually. Venom is cool. But that's because Venom is borderline hero in a lot well, of ways. Yeah. Borderline. Venom is a hero now, and the symbiote was on Spider-Man. The whole conflict between good and evil with yeah. uh, already, um, like a guy who's like having trouble with what what he should be doing. Sure. Anyway, um, inner city pressure. Inner city pressure. What's up with the youth? <laughs> What's up with the youth? What's up with the youth?